Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm talking all about Ylang Ylang essential oil. I have two bottles of Ylang Ylang, so I'll just share them. This one's Young Living. Um, this one is the same exact uh, oil as this one. This is Simply Earth. They are both the Kenanga Orderada variety of essential oil. It is the general one that you'll see. Um, but I will talk about in a second, there are different varieties. Um, or versions of the oil and a few of the essential oil companies that I use um, have both varieties. Um, it's very like light floral and earthy. What does this one say? Sweet and floral. It is used a lot in perfumery. I get a lot of floral blends that I use. I like it mixed with clary sage, lavender, cedarwood, um, maybe orange. That's one of my go-to perfume blends. Um, I'll share how the oil's made, um, the different varieties, the properties, and some uses for it. So, so the scientific name, um, Kananga orderata, I'll put that right here because I'm terrible at pronunciation. Um, the botanical family is an Ananaceae which I'll also put here, and um, it's used so much in perfumery and aromatherapy just because it's so sweet and floral, and it smells so good to so many people. It's kind of like lavender in that way, um, where if you like florals, you'll like um, ylang ylang. Okay, so the constituents or compounds of the oil I will put here. I'm not going to try to pronounce all of them, but those are what make up the essential oil and what give it its unique therapeutic um, properties, um, which are uh, analgesic, antidepressant, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antispasmodic, aphrodisiac. Um, it's in a lot of my uh, massage oils. I have a whole video on that subject. I'll try to link down below. Hypotensive and sedative properties. Um, it's a very relaxing and just like a pleasant oil to smell. This oil is known for its ability to alleviate stress and anxiety. It just makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy. It smells happy. Okay, next I'll share some of the uses. Um, and again, all of this will be in the blog post down below too um, with links. I just started adding like links to different studies and stuff too in the, in the blog posts. Um, so look up those. Those are really interesting. I always encourage like furthering your education and research. Don't just take my word for it. Make sure you get your information from a vast like source um and then make your own informed choice but anyways aromatherapy um like i said it's also all often used in a lot of different blends in aromatherapy for anxiety um just mood boosting benefits it smells um really good so and there are a couple of studies linked down below um for mood there's a study on mood and relaxation and then a study on anxiety which i thought was really cool um perfumery this one um kind of already talked about it's really well known in the perfume industry um and it is often used as a top or middle note. So it does have a stronger blending factor, so it's a stronger essential oil. So you'd wanna use, start with a low amount of it um, and see how your blend smells and then add more um, if you need to, but don't just start with a ton of um, ylang ylang. Um, skincare, it's also used um, for that, uh, antiseptic and anti-inflammatory. Um, ylang ylang is an essential oil for acne, eczema, and other skin conditions. Massage is another big one. Um, like I said, it's in our massage um, essential oil blend, which I will link the whole blog post to like essential oils in the bedroom. It is known as an aphrodisiac essential oil. Um, sensation, I think that's the essential oil blend from Young Living. Um, it's in that and that's where I first um, heard about it as being used for that um, but it does it just smells so good and like romantic. Next I have some essential oils that blend well with Ylang Ylang. So ginger, cinnamon, lavender, bergamot, rose, cardamom, mandarin, clary sage, geranium, jasmine, and lime. It blends well with other florals but you want to balance it like with a cedar wood like a wood oil or a citrus oil to kind of give it different notes um, but it smells so good blended with other a lot of other oils. Safety is next. Um, so you should dilute um, and don't use in high concentration. So the biggest thing with essential oils is you don't need to use them neat. There are rare circumstances um, when you would want to use an essential oil undiluted on your skin. Um, but for the most part, just dilute your oils. You'll save money. Um, they evaporate in the air. So when you're using a carrier oil, carrier oil like coconut oil or avocado oil, I guess that's not the best one, jojoba oil, um, it's going to help 
uh, the oil penetrate your skin and stay on your skin rather than just evaporate as soon as you put it on. So that's the reason for using carrier. And then don't use in high concentration. So again, don't use it undiluted on your skin every single day. Don't diffuse it 24-7. Make sure you're using them, your oils, intentionally um, and just not constantly. You just want to give yourself breaks. Also, more information about Ylang Ylang in this blog post along with links to shop our favorite essential oil brands. There are a few that we have researched and love and use in our home. If you have any other uses for Ylang Ylang that you like and want to share with us, leave a comment down below. Let me know what single essential oil you want me to add next to this series. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. I hope you have a great day. Bye.